Hello everyone, it's Queen Bean. I'm back to you with another video. This video pertains to the unaliving of mother, spouse, and New Jersey council person, Eunice Dumfor, who unfortunately lost her life outside of her townhouse at the La Mer apartment complex. It is being reported on the night of the unaliving. Eunice was sitting inside of her car outside of her home when more than a dozen shots were echoed in the evening. Neighbors called authorities who found Miss Eunice Dumfor slumped over in her car seat. It appears her car was running at the time of the unaliving as it traveled about 100 feet before crashing into a pair of parked cars. Eunice Dumfor was announced unalived at the scene. Authorities are not publicly speculating on a motive in the councilwoman's unaliving and no suspects have been arrested. It has now been confirmed that the FBI has also been called into the investigation of this unaliving as some persons believe that her unaliving could be tied to her election win in 2021 while others are speculating it could be personal why you may ask after the reporting of this unaliving Eunice Dumfor's husband made a social media post in which I will read, Fourth March is your birthday. Happy glorious birthday in Addie, my love. Now this seems very odd as Miss Eunice Dumfor unfortunately lost her life days prior to this post which is raising more questions than answers to the unfortunate unaliving of this mother councilwoman and now deceased spouse i truly believe that the fbi needs to use all of its resources as it pertains to this case and here's why if this case turns out to be politically motivated then this should be an alarm to politicians not only in new jersey but across the country we have seen a rise in political violence against personnel and sometimes their own spouses and relatives in addition i think the fbi needs to do an investigation into her spouse and persons that she has had interaction with over the years the reason why i'm stating this that post that her husband did seems very off and weird your wife is unalive days prior and you're posting a birthday post that is supposed to be for next month and she's no longer here i think persons need to take this case very seriously now you will watch this brief news clip and I will be back with more commentary. 
All I heard was the gunshots. The piercing sound of gunshots startled Sayreville residents who ran to the windows of their luxury Camelot townhomes at the Lamur complex on Samuel Circle Wednesday night around 730. Uh, like five and then pause and then five more. It was like, I can't even, it was like, poof, 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 poof. Police say 30-year-old council member Eunice Dwumford was in her SUV when a shooter opened fire. Neighbors say she was coming home from work and her killer must have been waiting for her. It was a tight grouping of, of half, easily half a dozen gunshots in the window. It looked like it happened really close up. Dwumford sat wounded and slumped over in the driver's seat, her SUV rolling down the street, slamming into a Mercedes Benz at the bottom. Eyewitnesses say they saw the shooter run away, hopping a fence bordering the Garden State Parkway. A shock. I think I'm still in shock. It's like, yeah. are you kidding me? And to find out that she was murdered, killed, you know, and I thought it was like people fighting, kids fighting, gangs, whatever. No, this was definitely a hit. But Dwumford's neighbors were at a loss piecing together who would want the public servant dead. Dwumford, a graduate of William Patterson University, a business analyst, was elected to council as a Republican in 2021, also serving as a part-time EMT and director of churches for the Nigerian-based Champions Royal Assembly. People who genuinely care um, are rare, um, which makes this especially tragic. I asked Joe if he could remember the last elected official to have been shot and killed, and we can't remember who that is. It's just a shocking, shocking development. Sayreville police and Middlesex County authorities scoured the neighborhood, looking for a weapon, surveillance video, and clues that could lead to her killer and the motive behind the murder. And this is still an active and ongoing investigation. Police just arrived with a command post, so that means they are not going anywhere anytime soon at this hour. I cannot begin to imagine what Eunice's daughter is going through this difficult time. It is unfortunate that this council person, this mother and wife, unfortunately lost her life because someone, Bud Minor. Let's be honest, that type of touches she received, it was personal. And the fact that the assailant knew the exact car that Eunice would have been in, lets me know that they were either following Eunice or were waiting for Eunice to show up to do the unthinkable. Again, I would not be surprised if more than one person is arrested behind this unaliving because of the venom and hatred Eunice received during this unaliving. It is unfortunate that her ch child and the community who voted for her will not get to experience her on a daily basis. Black women, unfortunately, are victims of unaliving eight times than other races of women. The words of Malcolm X ring true today as it did when he was alive. Now you will watch this brief clip and I will be back with more commentary. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected woman, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. Protect black women should not only be a slogan, but it should be a way of life. Protect black mothers. Say their name, known and unknown. Justice for Eunice Dumford. Please be safe out here.
and I will see you in the next video.